To paraphrase Virginia Woolf, every writer needs a bit of money and a room of their own. Now before you get too excited, Read D can't help you pay the rent. However, we can give you a space where you can plan, write, edit and publish your book, all for free. Intrigued? Well, come with me now as I give you a personal tour of Read Z Studio. And here we are in the Read Z Studio bookshelf uh, where all your projects will be kept and you can access them. They're always loaded on the cloud. You can write and work on your project from literally any device all around the world. So if you were to start a new project, you would click here on create a book. I've already made one uh, just to save us uh, the hassle. So we'll jump straight in and hit write. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is planning. On the left hand side of your dashboard here, there are two settings. There's the manuscript where you can write the book. But before that, let's head into the planning section. So we sort of see this as a visual corkboard, somewhere that you can outline scenes or chapters, keep notes on characters or any sort of research. Uh, it's designed here with a drag and drop interface that will allow you to organize things easily. This will help you plot character arcs, subplots, uh, engage in world building. This is great for plotters or discovery writers or anyone in between. If you are a writer that plans or keeps notes in any way, this is a great place to do it. We've preloaded the hero's journey as a template. We're in the middle of adding a whole bunch more story structured templates that you can use. But for today, uh, I've created an outline of JRR Tolkien's The Hobbit using the hero's journey. As you can see here, uh, there are cards for call to adventure, meeting the mentor, ordinary world, etc. But you can break this down into even more granular details. I've seen people use this uh, to create scene outlines, which you can then shuffle in between if you're looking to rework your plot. If you're in the middle of writing a chapter and suddenly you've got a brainwave and need to keep it somewhere, you don't need to open up a new app. You can just start a new note uh, and put it in a folder titled random thoughts. Now, as I mentioned, Read Z Studio is absolutely free to use. However, we do have a couple of premium add-ons, two packages that we call Craft and Outline. You can trial both of these for free for a whole month. So just head in there and play with it. But if you're using our outlining premium add-ons, uh, there are a couple of other features within the cards themselves. You can add images. You can put in additional details like location, characters, age, birth dates. You can also create connections between cards and you can also pin any any of these cards to your writing window so you can have it there as reference while you're working on a character or writing a particular scene. The other benefit of the premium outlining plan is that you view any of the folders uh, within a grid view or a list view. Whichever way you like to visualize your notes or structures or characters, uh, you'll be able to do it right here with the premium plan. Okay, now let's talk about writing. Let's head over to the manuscript part here on the dashboard on the left. And you'll see that I've already started work on my brand new manuscript, uh, which bears an incredible resemblance to The Hobbit. We've designed this as a clean distraction free interface. We can start a new chapter and write instantly. You just get in there, get typing. Every time you start a new line, it puts the indent in. The great thing about this, I think, is that you can see your manuscript exactly the way that your final reader is going to see it. At the end of every writing session, you can go back and it looks like you've added something to your book. You can, of course, drag and drop your chapters and parts into different places. No muss, no fuss. We also have our goals and insight feature. Uh, within this one, uh, you can establish a handful of goals. For example, your manuscript goals. If you know you're writing a fantasy manuscript that you want to be 100,000 words long, uh, you can put that as your ultimate goal and set a, a final date. Here, I've decided to go for 26th of September. Uh, you can further customize it uh, by saying how many days a week you think you're going to write for this one. I'm saying I can only really write Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. So I've saved that and it does a calculation for me. It says if I want to finish this by the 26th of September, I'm going to need to write 2,600 words per session. Those are the days of the week I said that I can write if I have any chance to finish on time. All of this is synced up to the cloud so you can access it from any of your devices. If, for example, you find yourself uh, stuck at your aunt's house, uh, you can log into their 10-year-old uh, computer and be writing your manuscript in no time. As I mentioned before, uh, we have a, a premium plan for this one as well, which we call Craft. You'll have access to a couple more shiny features, including advanced writing stats, things like your most used words, most used phrases, 
how long it will take your readers to read any particular chapter or your entire book. There are also daily check-ins uh, where you can rate your writing sessions. There will also be uh, little email reminders uh, that will keep you on track whenever you're falling behind, but of course you can disable that uh, if you don't want uh, us to be nagging you. And of course, ReadZ Studio is perfect for revision. When it comes to editing, revising, or rewriting your manuscripts, you can actually have access to all your previous versions. You can click through your writing timeline and there'll be a list of every change that's ever been made to your manuscript. If there's any particular draft you want to preserve, you can star that particular revision and come back to it at any point you want. If you've really gone off the reservation and you want to revert it back, just head into your writing timeline, go through your start versions, and you can restore it to any point within your history. Again, everything is preserved on the cloud, so you can access all your old versions whenever you like. If you're working with collaborators, that means co-writers or editors, you can do it all within ReadZ Studio as well. Using track changes, you can write and edit at the same time, see who's made any particular changes. You'll still have control, so you can approve or reject any changes that have been made. And if you want to share your manuscript, the entire thing, or perhaps select chapters, you can head down to this feature here, create a private link that you can share with anybody. A great way to get feedback from beta readers or other collaborators or friends or people you want to chime in on any particular part of your book. And of course, at any point, if you want to retain a hard copy of a particular version, you can head down and export a backup copy. This will give you a doc file that you can then share and open up in Microsoft Word if you decide to use that for any reason. In short, Every part of your revision process can be conducted right here within the studio interface. Then of course there's the crown jewel of ReadZ's Studio's features. That's the ability to format your manuscript into a professional standard book file. This is the thing that it was originally created for and we're particularly proud of what this is able to do. As I mentioned before, as you're writing, the book will be formatted just as your reader will see it. As you select a bit of text, you can style it any way you like. Uh, bold it, italicize it. You can format a block of text as quotes, you can add images onto any page, just make sure you've paid for the licenses. And you can also add footnotes and endnotes. When it comes to arranging your chapters, you can drag them into your front matter to turn them into introductions, prefaces. If you want to put in a prologue, that goes into the body matter of your book. Uh, just head to this feature here, select prologue, and then you won't be messing up the chapter numbering. And of course, you can drag a chapter into your back matter to serve as your acknowledgements, your bibliography, any other sort of afternote encouraging people to maybe sign up to your mailing list or buy any of the other books you have on sale right now. If you don't want to write on ReadZ Studio and you just want to use it to format, it couldn't be easier. You could just import your Word file and within minutes it'll be ready to export. Just one particular hint for this one. For example, I've uh, got this Word file of uh, Sherlock Holmes' A Scandal in Bohemia. For every chapter, you'll want to create a heading for this. So just highlight this and choose heading one or heading two. This just gives ReadZ Studio an idea of where your new chapters begin and that will make sure that it automatically filters into new chapters. So when I export this straight in you'll see everything's already been divided up into chapters for you. Now every book needs a copyright page and a table of contents and those you can handle at the top of your dashboard. Under copyright you can fill in your name or your pen name, the name of your book, your ISBN if you've already acquired one, and then you can add standard legal clauses with these tick boxes or even write a custom one at the bottom and they'll be inserted into your final file. Once all that has been sorted and all your ducks are in order, let's get to exporting the file. Now going to export here. For ebooks, you can upload your cover design. Uh, if you go to your retailer like Amazon or Kobo, they'll tell you exactly what dimensions they'll need for the book cover file. This you should have coordinated with your cover designer, which you can, of course, find on Readsy. They'll know where to look and they can deliver you something that'll be perfect for whichever retailer you're going with. I'm going to use this example of a scandal in Bohemia. Years ago, we did a thing with ReadZ designers where we asked them to create new contemporary covers for Sherlock Holmes stories. Uh, this is the one uh, designed for a scandal in Bohemia, so I'm just going to upload that right here. Uh, that's for the ebook. 
Now for print versions, we get asked this a lot, you don't need to add a cover design to your file. Your printer will want a wraparound cover file. That includes your spine and your back cover. This will be delivered in a separate PDF. So don't worry about including your wraparounds in your export files. You can choose drop caps at the start of chapters, you can choose between a couple of themes. We've got uh, the Reedsy, we've got something a bit more contemporary, we've got something uh, a little bit more romantically edged. Pick the one you like. Uh, if you're doing, of course, the print book, you can choose from uh, a number of standard trim sizes. That's the, the actual size of the book. For ebooks, of course, you don't have to worry about trim size. Everything is perfectly reflowable to your reader's device. So just go here, hit export, and depending on how long your book is, it'll just take a few minutes, and then you'll have your professional grade EPUB file ready to send to your digital retailers, and a print-ready PDF that's perfect for any offset or print-on-demand printers. There's absolutely no need to pay your $250 for Vellum or your $147 for Ascus. This feature is absolutely free. If you haven't tried it yet, I'd urge you to give it a go. So to recap, Readsy Studio is your platform for planning, writing, formatting, and exporting beautiful books. Our core features, including our boards, our goals, and unlimited book exports will always be free. And of course, there's our premium features we can try out for 30 days for absolutely free. If you don't need them by the end of your 30 days, you'll still have all of our amazing core features. So there it is. And that is how you write and publish smarter with ReadZ Studio. I hope you enjoyed that tour. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more great content. I'll see you soon. Thank you.